came kind of serendipitously in that someone brought back a receipt from their pharmacy and, and it read, preventing teen cough medicine abuse. You must be 18 years of age or older to purchase medicine that contains DXM. We wondered how easy is it actually to go to stores and, and buy the over-the-counter cough medications. And so we got together a group of about five teens and sent them out to major pharmacy chains, grocery stores, big box retailers, and also a few convenience stores. We found that out of the 22 stores that they visited, a little more than half of the stores they were able to actually purchase the medications. We followed this up by contacting the regional managers of these stores and, and congratulating the ones that had policies for taking a, a voluntary stand in helping to protect our young people. Well, by chance you have your ID with you today? But also noting that the policy wasn't always consistently enforced and encouraging them to talk to store managers and make sure that clerks were following the policy so that they were not selling to anyone who would come in under 18. Our youth have become involved in making public service announcements in one of our local radio studios. Our town, our health, our future. We really appreciate the opportunity to work with these great young people in their campaigns to educate the public about the dangers of prescription drugs and over-the-counter medications. The Shelby County Drug Free Coalition is engaging our community and our children in these conversations about the uh, downfalls and the consequences, but they're also showing them an alternate thing to do about it and a way to talk about it. We've always felt the importance of starting prevention at an early age. Why is that so important? Do not share your medicine. Lillian? Everybody needs a uh, different type of medicine. Exactly. We start in kindergarten and we work at every grade level up through high school. We talk about the importance of making healthy lifestyle choices. We have lots of fun engaging activities. We follow them. They become peer leaders. They come back and pass along this message. When it comes to making the PSA about over the counter medicine, you can't just say don't do it. You have to give informational cues and just making sure that they understand that they need to be following directions and what is in the medicine before you take it. The more we set the example, youth talking to youth, we're really preventing them from possibly abusing over-the-counter medicine in their future. As a result of these initiatives, something we were able to do was um, cultivate a youth action committee, which was something that we didn't have up until this point. The future that I envision for the community of Dearborn is a drug-free community, but also one that kind of helps our peers, not just teens, but also adults, and doesn't stigmatize negative mental health or people who have fallen to drugs. So that way we can actually acknowledge these issues and become a better Dearborn together.